An emotional plea for justice today from the family of a man shot and killed by a police officer in Atlanta over the weekend. Video shows that 27-year-old Rayshard Brooks was shot in the back while running away following a scuffle with two officers who were trying to handcuff him. Body cam video of the shooting shows Brooks apparently pointing a, la a taser at police who then fired the fatal shots. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris listened to a news conference held by Brooks' family. She's joining us. Janice. Tom, Richard Brooks' widow says that it's going to be a long time before her family can heal. They say the shooting was not justified and they are asking for peace. Shard Brooks' widow, surrounded by family, shared her grief in losing her husband, who was shot and killed while running away from a police officer. I can never get my husband back. I can never get my best friend. I can never tell my daughter, oh, he's coming to take you skating or swimming lessons. So. It's just going to be a, a long time before I heal. It's going to be a long time before this family heals. As she mourns, protesters continue to rally near the Wendy's where the shooting happened. Within hours of Brooks' death, someone set the restaurant on fire. A $10,000 reward has been offered for the arsonist. Brooks' widow is asking for peace. And I just ask that if you could just keep it as a peaceful protest, that would, that would be wonderful. Because we want to keep his name positive and great. This shooting reignited the discussion of race relations and police officers. Brooks' family attorney believes the shooting was excessive force, though Brooks resisted arrest after a DUI stop. Video shows Brooks taking one of the officer's tasers before running away. Trying to justify the actions of shooting at uh, Mr. Brooks as he's running away in a crowd at Wendy's parking lot uh, when you can easily catch him later for uh, what started off as a very non-confrontational situation, um, it can be justified. It cannot be justified. Otherwise, we're going to continue to lose lives. Brooks' family says now they will cherish the memories they have of the 27-year-old man. Children, when you see them laugh, yeah. that innocence, that joy, that pureness of soul, and you had a glimpse of what we lost. you have a glimpse of what it feels like. Because tomorrow, we're going to have to deal with it again. We're going to have to bear him. We're going to have to say, we miss you. Media mogul Tyler Perry says he is paying for Richard Brooks's funeral. Tom? Thank you, Janice. Officer Garrett Rolfe, who investigators say fired the fatal shots, has been dismissed from the force the other officer at the scene, Devin Brosnan, has been put on desk duty. Police Chief Erica Shields resigned today after the shooting. The district attorney says he hopes to decide by midweek whether to charge one or both of the officers.